Hello everyone, it's time to talk about the latest movie in the long-running Halloween franchise, simply called Halloween. Directed by David Gordon Green and starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Judy Greer, and Andy Matichek. Forty years ago, Michael Myers terrorized the town of Haddonfield, Illinois. But shortly after being shot several times by Dr. Loomis, he was captured and sent to a mental institution. Myers now has a new doctor looking after him since Loomis has passed away, and he has not said a word in the last 40 years. Apparently he can speak, but chooses not to. Instead he just breathes very, very heavily. Meanwhile, Laurie Strode, once again played by Jamie Lee Curtis, has been suffering from PTSD and has been waiting for Michael Myers' inevitable return. She was originally training her daughter to do the same until the authorities stepped in and put her in foster care. And now, Laurie and her daughter Karen, played by Judy Greer, are not exactly on speaking terms, but she does have something of a relationship with her granddaughter Allison, played by Andy Matichek. And of course, everyone thinks she is completely batshit for spending so much time worrying about a guy who's been locked up for 40 years, and she's just being paranoid, and there is nothing to worry about. Spoiler alert, there is very much to worry about. Because of course Myers eventually gets free and starts terrorizing the town of Haddonfield once again. It's what he does best. Initially, I did not have high hopes for this movie at all. All. I did like the original Halloween, but there have been so many sequels and reboots, most of them crap, and it just seemed like there was no reason for this movie to exist. Do we really need yet another Halloween movie? I mean, it really just seemed like it was time to let this franchise die. That being said, this ended up being pretty fucking awesome. I fully expected to hate this one partly because of the relative quality of the other Halloween movies, and also because I was in a packed theater and had to sit in the front row, so I spent the entire time like this. But no, I did not hate it. In fact, I was pretty much on the edge of my seat for the last 30 minutes. It was really, really fun. I thought it was very well made overall, although if you want me to nitpick, I will gripe about the color palette, because it has that same kind of washed out color that you would see in like the DC Snyder films, for example. Although instead of looking gray, it kind of has a brownish tint, like the director wiped his ass with the film stock. It just, the whole thing looks very dirty and I don't feel like that really added anything to the film at all. I just, I don't like the washed out colors. I really don't. But otherwise, I really don't have many complaints. I enjoyed this. If you thought the original Halloween was great and everything that came after it sucked, this is the movie for you because this is a direct sequel to the original Halloween. And it's also called Halloween, which is not confusing at all. But yeah, it's a direct sequel, and it just pretends all of the other movies never existed. I, for one, am okay with this. I did like a lot of the characters in this movie. Allison and her friends are not just there to be slasher fodder. They actually have personalities. Imagine that. The movie does have some genuinely scary moments, and also some pretty funny moments as well. There's a scene with a babysitter and a kid, because it's a Halloween movie, so of course there is. The kid was actually pretty funny. I liked him. And there's a scene where Lori is slowly approaching a closet that Michael Myers might be hiding in, and she reaches out and suddenly flings the door open and we hear that familiar organ sting, but then it immediately cuts out because he's not in there. Like, even the soundtrack is going, gotcha! There are quite a few callbacks to the original Halloween, but they do not feel forced at all, and some of them are actually pretty damn clever. And there's definitely some Terminator 2 influence here as well, because this version of Laurie Strode is basically Sarah Connor. And Michael Myers was pretty much always the Terminator. All three generations of Strode girls did a great job. The end of the movie is basically all three of them against Myers, and it's fantastic. There's one moment in particular where they do a really good job of subverting the damsel in distress trope. Uh, don't want to give too much away, but it was an awesome moment. And even though I think he was only on camera once and was mostly just there to do the breathing sound effects in post, I'm glad they brought back Nick Castle as the shape. That was a nice touch. So yeah, this was a pleasant surprise, and I enjoyed it very much, and I now await the inevitable disappointing sequel. Because you know they're going to. The end of the movie and the post-credits... It's not really a post-credits scene, but it's a post-credits... thing. 
certainly leaves the door open for a sequel if they want to. But I would definitely recommend giving this one a watch. It's a lot of fun. And that's all I got to say about Halloween. Till next time, take care.